What's up guys, how are you all doing? Hello and Merry Christmas. Uh, guys, it's that time of the year where we do our Christmas special. And for this year, we're gonna be doing something that's from one of my favorite series there out on Netflix, which is the Stranger Things series. If you haven't seen it, you ought to go check it out. It's pretty cool. It's not an ad placement or anything. I just enjoy the series. And this is one of the things that's in the movie. If you haven't seen it, you gotta see it. But basically, there's a way to talk to the upside down. Those of you that are Stranger Things fans know what I'm talking about. Um, and basically, this will message out whatever message that you code into the code of this, it will basically display like it's doing now. So if you wanna own this little piece of nostalgia or you wanna be able to build one of these uh, for yourself, for those uh, Stranger Things fans out there, this is the project for you. Stay tuned because it's coming up right here, right now on M.I. Sperry. Okay guys, so what we got here is some of this E-Light Dream Color is what we got, string lights. So uh, what these are is these, uh, I looked very specifically to make sure these are the WS2811, uh, kind of like NeoPixels, I guess you'd say. That's, if those of you who know about Adafruit, the NeoPixels are the uh, WS2811 uh, chip, which is uh, what is, controlled with the Arduino software and all that stuff that has all the libraries and everything are already out there. So that's what I chose. So that's why I chose these. They're a little, little pricey, but uh, not too bad. You get 60 LEDs with them. We're not gonna need 60 because obviously the alphabet is not 60 letters long. But anyway, so let's open it up. What do we get? So we get a big old wad of, of lights. You get a nice little charger. Everything seems to be waterproof. Like they're these cool little screw on connectors and stuff. That's kind of neat. We'll probably use that. Um, you get an extension cord um, and then you on, you actually get, I've already kind of opened this and messed with it, but you get a controller. Okay. So that's this little controller that allows it to do Bluetooth. However, we're not using it. We're going to do our own control. Okay. Here's the main connector. So the first thing I had to do was figure out on these uh, types of connectors, if I can zoom in here, um, what was power, ground, and uh, uh, the data line because it, uh, you have to have that, uh, those three is all you need. What I did was I went ahead and, let me back back out, mapped this out. We've got this, we've got the ground, power, and data with the little notch pointing down. So if you look at it, the notch pointing down, there's our uh, pinout. I took the controller that we had, snipped the end of it off, and then I went ahead and stripped it out and put it on an Arduino. Here's just one of my Arduino Leos. Um, nothing real fancy. Um, here, let me get it all into frame. Excuse me while I move the camera around. Okay, so basically, rang these out. You've got your, you know, your, let's see, this was ground, power, and then data, okay? So that's what we have here. We've got our ground here, our power is here, and then our data line is gonna go to the pin number six, which is a PWM pin on our Leonardo for the sketch that we use. And I'm just using a simple NeoPixel test sketch. This allows us to connect this up. Now, these are 12 volts um, is the power supply for these, uh, which is normal in the power range. I think they can take up to 24 volts if I remember right. But 12 volts is our power range. So obviously a Leonardo will not run on 12 volts. So what we did is I'm using two power supplies. I'm using one power supply to power this guy, and that's what these two leads are. This is a 12 volt power supply. Then back at the power supplies, I've got the grounds between a five volt power supply and a 12 volt power supply. The grounds are connected together, okay? So that way they have a common. Then I can power the Leonardo with the five volts to ground, and then I can power the lights with 12 volts to ground, and we don't get any crossing or anything weird going on, okay? So I'm gonna turn on my power supplies. So I'm gonna get my 12 volt one going, and I'm gonna get my five volt one going. I don't know if you can see that, but the Leonardo's booting up now. So now I'm gonna turn off my desk lamps here, and we should be able, once I turn the 12 volts on, be able to see it. Yep, there we go. All right, so there's my sketch 
running. As you can see, the lights are changing different colors and since they daisy chain, that's what makes it great. Um, I can just cut off, starting with the plug side, I'll just count 26 light bulbs and then trim them down. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that real quick and we'll be right back. So now we got 26 of them, so that's all we need. Now, we're gonna have to build them in to the Stranger Things uh, deal. So we're gonna have to count how many we're gonna do and move them around. Now, the thing is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna test and make sure that this is going to actually uh, still work with our Arduino. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the code in the Arduino, reduce it from 60 uh, LEDs basically to only 26. So I'm gonna do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay guys, and just like that, we've reprogrammed it and it looks like the test script is working just fine with our lights. So, all right, now we're gonna have to start building uh, our ABCDFG basically. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna kind of do that on the bench here and just kind of line it all out. We're just gonna have it display a couple of messages. Um, maybe we'll say Merry Christmas and Happy Holidays or something like that. It's what we'll have it spell out and we'll do that on a time interval. Uh, you'll, you'll see how we'll get it put together. But this is gonna be the next task. I'll set it up and we'll come back and see what we got. Okay, so I got them somewhat laid out. Um, it's, we're gonna have to do some cable splicing because these are not long enough in between to be able to get it to you know, wrap all the way around. So we'll probably have to do some cable splicing uh, and splice that, maybe poke it through the back or something, I don't know. We've got A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H. We should have it all laid out. Now we should be able to index everything. And uh, basically your first pixel is starts here. This is pixel address number one, all the way through to address 26, which is kind of off camera. You can't really see it, but is right here. So I'll go ahead and build these into blocks inside the code and we'll uh, code this up. So to the computer. Okay guys, so to the computer now we go to check out the software. I'm gonna to try to go through this fairly quick because you can download uh, the software links down in the description from my GitHub and uh, work on it yourself. So basically what we do is we go in here, we call out the Adafruit NeoPixel library. If you don't have that library, it's fairly easy to get. You just go down to your manage libraries, uh, type in Adafruit uh, NeoPixel and you're good to go. Um, you should find it's the, it's the first, not really the first one. It's like down a ways, but it's, it's the Adafruit NeoPixel library. Once you have that, you should be able to put this together. All you have to do to configure this software is to set up pin six and you have to set up LED count 26 and you have to set up your message cycle, which I've got it on every 60 seconds. It'll, uh, it'll cycle the message. And then I've got a uh, brightness set to a hundred. Okay guys, so I've been putting this together now. So I've got the code loaded up and in about 10 seconds, been timing it with my watch, we should see it go into its normal, uh, or into its message mode. So here we go. So there's M E R R Y, and that's Y and Z, so yeah. C H R Okay, now I do know that the that this row is reversed, the middle row is reversed, because the way they did it in the movie, they didn't go this way and then drop down and then go this way. They actually went this way, then this way, and then this way. So we can reverse it in code in that one uh, spot where we declared all the different letters. Let's go on to building the board. Now that we've got the code and the hardware set up, let's go ahead and start building uh, the shadow box and actually starting to put this together and make this look like this. Okay guys, so what we've got here is we've got a shadow box is what this guy actually is. Got this from uh, Michael's, just a uh, local place in Michael's. I also got one other thing. Uh, let me grab over here and grab it for you. Um, I got some of this, it's like a foam board and then it's got cork and it will fit inside of this. We may have to cut it down a little bit, but the idea is to put it inside and this is where we will hang the actual lights. So that way we can we can see what letter is what. So that's how we're gonna get going. So we're gonna go ahead and get this unpackaged, get this broke down to where it'll fit inside and we should be good to go.
Okay guys, so I got it at least painted up. I kind of messed up the A's a little a little wide. I thought I could do the wide brush, but uh, yeah, no, it uh, looks better if I use the side of the brush. So I switched to the side afterwards, but it looks like, uh, looks pretty good, looks pretty rugged. Um, so we're probably gonna let that dry and then uh, we'll have to start uh, putting the lights in. I'm hoping that this is gonna be deep enough to hold these bulbs since they're fairly good size. So we'll just have to see, but uh, that's that part. Okay guys, so this is looking pretty good now. It's actually looking, I, I do kind of like it. I think it's, it's turning out pretty cool. Um, I think my cue kind of got a little funky there, but that's okay. That's the whole point about this is it's supposed to be rough. It's supposed to be like, you know, somebody just threw it up. It's not supposed to be nice and neat and cute, but uh, it's starting to look pretty good. Um, now we got to worry about getting the, uh, Arduino hooked up and the controllers and everything all put together for it on the back side. I went ahead and soldered back together. Uh, you probably saw that. Soldered back together our leads so that way it goes here, over, down, over, and then down, and then over. Uh, we'll go back to the bench and we'll check out uh, how to get the uh, Arduino and stuff all set up because we have some power things we have to do. Okay, guys, so we're back at the bench. And so what I'm gonna need to do is I'm gonna have to power the Leonardo and other things. I found myself just a kind of a barrel connector I had just laying around. That's gonna work out just fine to power that Leonardo. I also got one of these, I'll put a link down in the description, but uh, this is a buck converter. Actually, it's a buck boost converter. Um, you put 12 volts in, it's got a little tiny uh, adjustment on it, and it will either buck the voltage and reduce it, or it can also boost it and uh, increase it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use this little guy, and then that way I can uh, pull down the 12 volts to the 5 volts that we need to run the Arduino. So that's what I'm going to be working on right now. So we'll put this together. Oh yeah, and I also... Uh, I've got uh, the cord, the extension cord that it came with. I think we'll just kind of cannibalize this. That way we can use it with the power supply that it came with. Okay guys, here is our cable. So there's our power pack that it came with. Here's the cable that I have redone. I went ahead and added the, uh, the regulator. I just kind of taped it up into it. So there is our five volts. There is where we plug our 12 volts in. And then there's our barrel connector that we have for the lights. So let's take it to the, the uh, board with everything and hook it all up. All right, guys, so there it is. Uh, totally functioning and put together and ready to go. This was a very fun project to uh, do. It was very interesting, fairly quick, actually. I was thinking it would take me a lot longer to put this together, but it actually ended up turning out to be a whole lot faster than I thought it was gonna go. So um, if you wanna check this out, I got all the bill of materials and whatnot down in the description below. Um, code and everything is at our GitHub link down below. And uh, this was just, uh, a fun project. I know I like Stranger Things. Uh, I'm looking forward to the next season that's going to be coming out. <clears throat> Hopefully it'll come out sooner rather than later, but uh, they got it coming. So in any case, uh, I really enjoyed uh, this build. So guys, 
Thank you very much. Like, subscribe, and share. Merry Christmas, happy holidays, all those different things. Hope you guys have a wonderful holiday season. Um, definitely check out the channel store. It helps out the channel. We got merch, we got the engineered line, uh, we got masks, we got all kinds of stuff now that's out there. So definitely check that out, support the channel, uh, find your nerdism. So guys, thank you again, and we will see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.